about 1,730 packs of codeine syrup valued at about 10 million naira was intercepted from one Mohammed Kazana, who claimed to have been conscripted into the business by his friend. The NDLEA boss in Kazana is not only concerned about the quantum of the drugs, but what would have been the effect on the people of the state if it had gone into the market. These were made possible by the eager eyes of the officers of the NDLA Kazana State Command. We were able to intercept it and take it out of the street, take it out from circulation. Now, if you can ask what will be the effect if we allow this drug to be on the street. The anti-drugs agency in Kazana State says the momentum of the fight against illicit drugs and sales will increase at the country inches towards Salah festivities. Similarly, in what appears to be strange to Kazana, is the cultivation of cannabis sativa. In one of its recent operations, officers of the anti-drugs agency arrested one Masaudu from Sobashi village of the local government in Kazana state in connection with cultivation of cannabis sativa in its irrigation farm. Before this time, as far as our records are concerned, we have never had anything like this. And not only in Kazana, the whole of the north is not known for the cultivation of cannabis sativa. But today, we were so fortunate, we were so lucky to have discovered a cannabis plantation in Kazana State. Though the suspect Masaudu claimed ignorance of the offense, he mentioned Abdullahi Hamisu, Zaharadini Galadima, and Abdullahi Bukhari as the real owners of the suspected farm of cannabis sativa. No, the real owners of the cannabis sativa have not been arrested. I was only arrested because I was the one found on the farm. I was conscripted into the offense. This has been my business over time, but as God will have it, I was arrested with these bottles of codeine. Though I am aware of the effects of my business, I want to assure that this will be the last time I will be in the drugs business. The NDLA command in Kazana has in its custody one Bishir Saadu who was arrested in possession of 8,000 capsules of tramadol valued at about 3 million naira only. The deputy commander of the NDLEA in Kazana, Idris Soho Usman, while parading the suspects, called on residents not to relent in providing information that would expose drugs dealers and their accomplices. Abdullahi Ismail Amadi, Trust Television News, Kazana.